Hey guys, hope you're all having a good holiday season. Hope you all had a good Christmas and you're about to have a good new year. Um, as some of you know, it wasn't the merriest Christmas for us here at the Geese Brecht House. Um, on December 6th, Mincy passed away and uh, I'm not taking it so well. I don't deal well with death. Uh, Mitzi took a big part of my heart with her when she passed away. It was a really, really hard day. It's been a really, really hard month and I just wanted to create a slideshow with Josh to uh, show you guys some of the joy that she brought me. Frankie's doing better now. He misses his mom. He still perks up when he hears the name Mitzi and, you know, he still looks a little lost in the house sometimes, but he's starting to bomb with Chevy now and it's getting better. I had Mitzi for just over four years. Uh, she came to me through a friend who I actually bought Frankie from because Mitzi was Frank's mom. Uh, I got her through a friend that wasn't able to care for her anymore. She dropped her off one day and just never came back, but turns out that was a huge blessing for me because Mitzi added something to my life when I was very lonely and all I had was Frank, I had her too. So she will be missed and I realize that dogs can't live as long as us but I wish they could because if I could have this guy till the day I died I would never get another puppy again. No offense Chevy, love you buddy.
Casey and I had a pretty inseparable bond from the beginning. Uh, it only took us a couple of weeks to really build it and she formed the same kind of bond with my mother. My mom grew very attached to her as well. She was a big part of us and my mom was so happy to have her in the home while I lived with them. Mitzi started out very, very independent. Um, <laughs> really stubborn German girl, but over time she eventually caved and became my little who bug, aka Mitzi Lou Who, aka Wiener Girl, as my mom liked to call her. Uh, Mitzi gave the greatest hugs. Uh, she would put her paws on either side of my collarbones and lay her head down on my chest for a few seconds at a time. It's one of the things that I'll miss about her the most. Lou, you want to go home with Sandy and the puppy? Do you like the carrier? Should mom get you one? You're adorable. You want that? Oh goodness. Sorry, Frank. You know Mitzi doesn't share. Oh, look at her little face. Covered in yogurt. Is that good? This is literally Mitzi's favorite food. She loves yogurt. She won't let anybody eat it without crying and jumping at them. And she's got to have some. So I'm letting her finish off the bottom. Oh goodness, I'm going to have to wash your little face. Mitzi, what are you doing in Chevy's cage? I don't know, I just like it. Back off. Okay, okay, jeez. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to grandma's? Is that a yes? Oh, oh my, oh, oh my. Okay, let's go to grandma's, you guys. They love their grandma. They've been like this all morning. Don't cry, we're going. Did you want a snack? Yeah, should grandma give you cucumber or carrot? Yeah, carrot. Is yeah. that your grandma? Okay. Okay. Mitzi and Frank were pretty good. Mitzi was pretty excited at the campground, but 
She's all burnt out now, aren't you? Aren't you, Mitsilu? Why are you playing shy? Frankie, you camera hog. Mitzi! Hi, baby girl! Are you happy to be back at Grandma's? This is home to them. Oh, Frank wants to be the center of attention. They're always happy to be at Grandma's. Frankie grew up here for the first six years of his life, so this is his home. You're all full of dirt. Looks like we've got a mole hole. And Mitzi's trying to get him. What a good girl. Look at her, she's all full of dirt. My little brave hunter. Frankie's in the house crying. What you got? She's a big, brave country girl. Get him. You get him, Mitz. She's so cute. Are you happy? Happy girl. Oh my. She loves the girl.